Oh yeah, baby. Anybody who knows me knows that I love the Turbo Grab 16 and the Turbo Duel. And there are a lot of fans out there that are making exclusive titles for the Turbo CD and all that. Okay, one second. Sandy. Meteor Blaster DS. Implode. Revival Chase. Pyramid Plunder. And Mysterious Song. I use my Turbo Duel, pop these CDs in, and good to go. Yeah, the thing is, what happens if you have like an old Turbo Gravit 16 that just takes the cards, you know? <laughs> I think there are a lot of Turbo Gravit 16 fans that, you know, can't get Turbo Duel because these things are darn expensive. Yeah, so sadly, most people are SOL if they're a Turbo Gravit 16 fan and they want to play a homebrew game on their Turbo Gravit 16 because. Until now, there was no opportunity, but look at this. Yeah, I have a new game right here, released out in 2014, called Atlantean. Yeah. And what makes Atlantean so cool is that it's a turbo chip game just like this. Oh, it's beautiful. The same size. Yep. You get full color artwork on it. Oh, that is so beautiful, man. Look at this sexy package in here. The creator said, hey, I'll give you like a ROM file or something and I could just download you the files and all that. But the problem is, you know, I don't have any of those ever drives. I don't like to use emulation. No, I like the real thing, baby. <laughs> I forked over the cash, he gave me the game, and yes, I actually have another Turbo Chip game in my collection after all these years. Yeah, so I have 94 card games in my collection, and now I have 95. It's an ad card. Yeah, work on those ads. <laughs> it actually sounds like a dietary product. Work those ads. Crunches, baby, crunches. So here it is, just like the Fender, we got evil fish here that gotta die because they're trying to kidnap the Landians on the bottom there. <laughs> to do your hyperspace, you hit the run button, yeah, which is kind of ironic. <laughs> and to shoot, you just use the two button and to drop your bombs, yeah, just hit the number one. When I drop a bomb, it's a number two, but whatever. Okay, very immature. You really have to watch your radar to see where your enemies and your friends are. Alright, you see the enemies here? You shoot them down. <laughs> but you gotta be careful too because this is also a game of defense. Yeah. See those people on the bottom there? Or those little fish thingies? Those big lazy things that are doing nothing? <laughs> well, you gotta rescue them. Hello? Ah. Alright, I'll save you. Aw, oh, shit. And if they do, the enemies become much more powerful and much more aggressive. Ah! Yep, don't laugh for Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna kidnap them, but no problem. Yeah, they just take a little fall like that. They can just glide to the bomb, you know, pretty easily, but... The thing is, if they fall from too far, yeah, you gotta rescue them, or they're gonna get killed. It's a lot of pressure! It's a tits! Ah! And that's why Defender and Landian is so cool. Oh yeah, exclusive to Landian here is these mine levels. <laughs> so you have to carefully navigate your way through all this mess. Ah. <laughs> but it's very difficult. Whoa. Okay. Easy. 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 Huh? No! <laughs> it's a cool challenge at least. But the more points you earn, yeah, the more bonuses you can get with bombs and one-ups. Cool. And yes, if you have internal memory on your Turbo Booster or Turbo Duel, yeah, you get to save your high scores and that's awesome. I love the way that, you know, they add all this new stuff in here so they don't get sued by Valley Midway or whatever. Oh shit. Yeah, we even get bosses in here. And they're hard as shit. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I just gotta be very careful and squeeze between the bullets. Ah. Darn it. I have bombs, why can't I use them here? 
Oh, that was cheap. Enemies drop mines, enemies shoot at you, enemies hold in on you. Holy, it can be nuts. You are doomed, Atlantis. <laughs> Thanks. You continue right in place when you die, but it can really throw you off too because holy shit, you don't get a lot of invincibility time. Alright, things can slow down a little bit when there's too much on screen, <laughs> but hey, it still moves pretty well. Yeah, not to mention you get some very cool graphics in here. The TurboGrafx-16 is known for not doing a lot of parallax drawing because it's not really built into its hardware. But look at this! <laughs> we got multi-layers here, it's awesome. Whoa! <laughs> I love blasting down these enemies here and enjoying some rocking tunes in the process. The TurboGrafx-16 collection pretty much ended in 1993 with Bomb Free and Magical Chase and all that. And boom, that's it. And then there are goofs like me that said, no, I'll never give it up. I'll keep it forever. If you love this system as much as I do, you definitely have to check this out. Yeah, Atlantean here doesn't bring a lot new to the table. If you play Classic Defender, you know what to expect. I was hoping for, you know, some more unique weapons or more enemy types and stuff like that. But... <laughs> At least, you know, Agribyte Studios, they focus on making the game very playable and very fun. You know, online games like Deep Blue and Double Dungeons, which can get either really tedious or just outright unfair. Atlantean here and that uh, Japanese language <laughs> there at the bottom. This earns a 76 out of 100. Alright, and that's it for me. This is Airsoft, World Heavyweight Champion, over and out. Woo! Yeah, so the big question is, is Atlantean just as good as Deep Blue? Oh, get the shit out of here. <laughs> it's way better than Deep Blue, trust me.